Welcome to this epic showdown in the South China Sea. Today, we'll witness the ultimate battle of naval power between the U.S. and China. On one side, we have the U.S.'s mighty Nimitz, the largest and most powerful aircraft carrier in the world. And on the other side, we have China's Shandong, a relatively new and equally formidable carrier. The South China Sea, a hotly contested region that has been a focal point of tension between the United States and China. Today, we'll be exploring one aspect of this conflict, the naval power struggle between the U.S.'s Nimitz and China's Shandong. The Nimitz, commissioned in 1975, is one of the oldest aircraft carriers in the U.S. fleet. Despite its age, it remains a formidable force, boasting a displacement of over 100,000 tons and a complement of over 5,000 sailors. The Nimitz has been the backbone of the U.S. Navy's carrier fleet for decades. It is armed with cutting-edge technology, including nuclear reactors that power the ship and its aircraft. The Nimitz can carry more than 60 aircraft and is capable of launching and recovering planes in seconds, making it one of the most potent weapons of the U.S. Navy. On the other hand, China's Shandong is the country's first domestically built aircraft carrier. It is equipped with advanced technologies such as stealth capabilities, making it a formidable threat to the U.S. Navy. The Shandong has a displacement of over 50,000 tons and can carry up to 40 fighter jets and helicopters, making it a vital asset in China's military arsenal. In contrast, China's Shandong is a more recent addition to the region's naval power struggle. Commissioned in 2019, it is China's second aircraft carrier and its first domestically built one. With tensions between the two superpowers continuing to escalate, the Nimitz and Shandong have found themselves increasingly in close proximity to one another. In July 2020, for example, the two carriers were spotted sailing side by side in the South China Sea. So what is the significance of this naval power struggle? For one, the South China Sea is a crucial strategic location, with over $3 trillion worth of trade passing through it each year. In addition, the region is rich in natural resources, including oil and gas. The carriers themselves are also significant. Not only do they serve as floating air bases, allowing for rapid deployment of fighter jets and other aircraft, but they also act as symbols of each country's military might. The presence of the Nimitz and Shandong in the South China Sea is indicative of the ongoing power struggle between the U.S. and China. Both countries are jockeying for position in the region, and the carriers are just one aspect of this competition. So what happens next? With tensions continuing to escalate, it's unclear what the future holds for the Nimitz and Shandong in the South China Sea. One thing is certain, though, as long as the two carriers continue to sail in close proximity to one another, the world will be watching. This has been a brief look at the naval power struggle between the U.S.'s Nimitz and China's Shandong in the South China Sea. Thanks for watching.